There are a lot of sprawly estates in Fort Worth, but only one is referred to as the mansion. Oil tycoon Cullen Davis uh, built the Cullen Mansion with his wife Priscilla. But in the summer of 76, the estate went from architectural wonder to grisly murder scene. William Joy takes us inside the hallways to unravel its history. It's been locked up and deserted, but never forgotten. What's this building for? This is new to me. 40 years have passed since Cullen Davis left the iconic Stonegate Mansion. Yeah, this is the original home. And he hasn't been back. It's kind of interesting that this is the first time I've been in the house since I moved out. Since Davis left, the home has been a Mexican restaurant and most recently a wedding venue. This is the floor. This is the original floor right there. The original floors and massive fireplace lounge have been preserved. So there was couches all, all around it for sitting. But much has changed and the large indoor pool was filled in. What's it like looking at it now? Well, uh, uh, looks like hell. <laughs> in December, the historic home off Fort Worth Shulin Street will be demolished. I think anyone that's been around Fort Worth is real familiar with the Stonegate Mansion, the Cullen Davis Mansion. Kyle Poulsen is part of a development group that bought the property. Like, that's almost looks like mahogany. They're working with neighbors to turn um, it into a 30 lot single family development. Is you've got this three acre prime piece of real estate right in the middle of Fort Worth. In, in a great neighborhood in a great area. When it was built in 1971, the home was surrounded by a 250 acre field. I spent nearly five years cutting pictures out of magazines of each room. Davis gave the photos to architect Albert Komatsu. I said, uh, here's the way I want every room to look. You put it together efficiently. The 13,000 square foot mansion took four years and $40 million to build in today's money. How do you feel, Mr. Davis? Get it good now. Well, I feel real good. How should I feel? All Texas watched as investigators gathered evidence. The mansion is remembered, though, for the images here that once filled front pages and TV screens. Do you have any memories here that stand out? I really didn't have anything to speak of. I can't think of a thing that I could speak about. Six years after they were married, Cullen and his wife Priscilla Davis separated, and a judge said Priscilla could live in the home. In August of 1976, an intruder broke into the home and shot and killed Priscilla's 30-year-old boyfriend, Stan Farr, and her 12-year-old daughter, Andrea Wilborn. Another friend was shot and paralyzed. Priscilla was shot but survived. Eyewitnesses accused Cullen, but after an infamous trial, he was acquitted, though many still have doubts. I didn't care about that either. They want to believe that, fine. Um, what happened was unfortunate. Some want the home to be preserved as history. Others believe it should have been torn down decades ago. I didn't care if they tore it down or kept it. As much time and money as was invested in the home and you were just done with it, you didn't care? Well, there was always something wrong with it some piece of equipment or something wrong that needed to be fixed. The need for crews to fix problems yeah, but you just watch your head, watch your step. is Davis's explanation. Thanks, please. Yeah. For tunnels under the home that go more than 100 yards out. Look how far that goes. I mean, this is six inch concrete all the way around. Eventually leading to a hatch at the surface. I mean, seriously, what do you think this was for? It was keeping stuff that made noise away from the house. Davis guesses about half the home has changed since he moved out. Yeah, this is all new. Rooms were added. I gotta watch what I'm doing, I'm 87. But most of the design remains. I thought it'd be more like it was when I lived here. Colin Davis claims he doesn't think about the past. It's a part of Fort Worth. I'm not saying it's a good part of Fort Worth. It's just history for Fort Worth. History is history. Can't change history. Davis will always be tied to Stonegate Mansion hmm. and even demolished. This is the way out. Yes, sir. The hill off Hewlin Street will be connected to its past. In Fort Worth, I'm William Joy.